recently in April 2010, we presented our business to a venture competition at um, school at Northeastern, and we won $10,000 from a venture competition through IDEA, uh, which was a venture accelerator competition, their gap funding. Yep, um, actually I've been studying pop-up shops before, uh, looking at the market we're into. It's something that's done pretty frequently in larger markets like Los Angeles, New York, London, and Paris. Um, but we thought a way for us to get a retail presence, people to see the brand and using it as alternative marketing um, is to throw, do a pop-up shop in a city like Boston where there's one place people know to go to see what's new, to see what's hot, and it's Newberry Street. So we knew we wanted to do it on Newberry Street, but we knew we didn't want to do it as a lot of brands do it, where it's small, quick, it's hits. We want to actually do it as see our brand, see what we do, and do it for an extended period of time. So the period of time we chose was two months or eight weeks. Um, the idea of the concrete jungle itself is evolved from uh, literature and evolved from um, pop culture, as in one of the songs Bob Marley sings, The Concrete Jungle, talking about uh, it's a reference understanding the harshness and of the city. The name Animals, uh, it's a personification and it's a play on words for the word animals. So it's really based on Darwin's natural law or the concept of the animal and man. An example of this would be our t-shirt that says Hunter Die. It's called the Rule Number One t-shirt. Um, another part of this pop-up shop that differentiated it, or we saw it have to evolve the idea of a pop-up shop, was to involve other brands. So the pop-up shop that we've done is Annie Moles Presents the Concrete Jungle, which goes along with our brand, but we also feature major brands. Uh, there are major featured brands, such as The Collective Clothing, George Guest Bags, and BornToPurple.com. Uh, we opened a week and a half ago um, on July 31st and Matt and Mike from Annie Moles, a Boston-based t-shirt company, came to us with this idea that they wanted to get this pop-up shop together. They presented the idea to us. They wanted to get four different Boston-based brands and uh, we saw it as a great opportunity to get some exposure for the brand, hopefully make some sales as well and, uh, and definitely kind of experience uh, the retail world. My name is uh, Alex Schultz. I am uh, a partner of George Guest. It's a uh, backpack and luggage company. Um, we're currently selling on Newbury Street. We, uh, we started with one product, uh, which is a patented roll top uh, backpack. Um, and from that product, it's kind of developed over the past two years um, to incorporate a lot of canvas and leather. Um, and around that, we developed the George Guest brand, um, which currently has a duffel bag and a uh, travel kit as well. The Newberry shop closes September 25th. Our plan for after that is to use this pop-up shop as a good way to get some exposure for the brand and get some potential buyers, Boston-based buyers, and hopefully New York-based buyers as well. For us, what I'm learning from entrepreneurship is that I would like to have an exit strategy in the next two, two, three to five years, two to three years, be able to be able to sell this company or have someone else run it and have a successful company already be under my belt or under our belts. Mais je vois la race humaine qui s'achemine droit vers